What the fuck did I just watch? What the fuck? I mean, Jim Henson's Perky Hollow. I mean, it came out around Thanksgiving, but I just didn't really see any point in checking it out. But I mean, that's all it looked like the back cover at a store. I was like, there's puppets. It's not CG. It's like classic stuff. Is it any good? Is it like garbage? Is it even worth checking out? <sighs> I... I just... I just... I'm, I'm glad I only spent a dollar fifty on it to rent for one night. I just... It's just another one of those why was this even made movies. This is way fast reviews. Jim Henson's Turkey Hollow. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I will give credit where it's due. At least it was puppets. Traditional Jim Henson puppets. It didn't cheat and use CG like, you know, even though it's a great movie, how flushed away used Ardman's style of animation, but it was CG and not claymation. This was at least, you know, puppetry. The traditional stuff that you're used to with Jim Henson, you know, like Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, and so forth. So, when I saw this, like in stores and eventually at Redbox, I didn't look anything up on it. I didn't see its rating on IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. I didn't see anything for it. But I just wanted to see if it had anything to offer because it looked weird. You know, like Dark Crystal and Labyrinth, it looked weird. So I was just like, you know, I'll take a look. I have no idea what I'm getting into. For example, I, I had not seen any previews or anything for Kingsman, The Secret Service. So when I went to see it in the movies, I was like, I hope this is at least worth my time. And by God, it was the most one of the most amazing movies I saw last year. This is not the case with this. At all. I mean, I mean certainly it's a complete cash-in just to give a Thanksgiving special a rarity nowadays for the holiday. But... Why was this made and just... If you're going to put Jim Henson's name, a very respectable and well-known name, on a movie, at least do some effort with it. I know you're not going to go to theaters. I, I know you're just trying to make some money, but at least put some effort into it outside of making using puppets in your thing. This feels like a movie from the late 80s, early 90s, and multiplying it by infinity and just using all the tropes and using all the horrible acting and used to death plot threads it was difficult to watch I mean even with like the only good thing about this movie are these four little yeah they call them monsters I mean they don't there's a point in the film there they explain like Oh, this is where they came from. This is like a hole in the ground and it leads to another world. I'm like, oh, this is going to be cool. Maybe the film's actually going to go up. They don't even go there. They don't even go in there. It's mind-blowing how lazy they wasted a complete opportunity to go see this world of monsters and these kids. That was a huge part in several of these movies that Jim Henson had a hand in. I mean, Dark Crystal, that was an amazing world completely filled with puppets and made in the 80s. Labyrinth, I mean, you're like, you know, regular human world and then you're transported into this incredible new vibrant world filled with all this puppetry and they show you they give you this scene and you're like oh it's gonna be awesome now I mean I had to sit through some painful shit but this is great but they waste it they're like oh we could go but we're not we're not we're just not gonna do that we're not gonna give you that 
Uh -huh. The characters are garbage. And the acting is atrocious. There's just nobody is trying. Except for the people playing the villains. They know they're in shit. So they're just gonna ham it up as much as possible. That doesn't give it an excuse, but at least it was amusing to see how over the top, like Marvin Harry times 20 they could be. I mean, they weren't funny, but they were just so stupid that it was entertaining, but not enough to warrant this checking out just for the stupid factor. The story you have seen a million times. Yes, you have these weird turkey squirrel hybrids I mean that's what I looked at them as that's the only thing this film offers this could have easily been kids who came across like four actual turkeys like legitimate turkeys this film could have easily replaced these monsters with little turkeys and you know just did a whole save the farm story around that but the only thing different is they put these unique Jim Henson puppets in here but there's no reason for it and it seems like wasted talent and what is he doing here I know you're trying to do some funny fourth wall humor did you have nothing to do I'm pretty sure that was the case you're like I need to pay off a speeding ticket oh I'll do some stupid jokes for this movie uh, let's go go but these little guys they were cute. They were funny. They're creatively done. And I wish I could have seen them in something else. They could have been in like the Muppets Wizard of Oz or something. Something else other than this. I mean, I'm aware this was something that, you know, was put away for a long time from Jim Henson, but. Oh, 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 oh. Just the pain this put me through. I subjected myself to watching this and I just, I regret it. I just completely regret it. And I just wish the talent put into these puppets could have been put used elsewhere in something of quality. My official rating for Turkey Hollow is a two out of 10. These little guys right here, they couldn't save it. Pointless, pointless movie. It doesn't need to be made. Just there to make some cash. Terrible acting, terrible characters, and just horrible story. Just nothing good to be offered here except for these little Jim Henson puppets that these people so desperately want you to check out just because Jim Henson's name is on it. And I got sucked into it. I was fooled. I was shammed. I was tricked. This has been a way fast review, and we'll see you next time on Team Epic Force. <laughs>